I don't see that many dynamic websites. There is the new MySpace, but that's really one of the only real ones I can think of that really do a dynamic page. Something that I just thought would be really cool is if YouTube eventually had a di truly dynamic page. I've never understood their obsession with, oh look, you can choose these different video sizes and neither of them are really quite the size of the original file, so it's just like, okay, uh, why are we looking at these different sizes and why do we only have those and full screen? Well, I present an option where you can, no matter what size you have the window, you're not going to see the scrollers on the side or the bottom because the, the, the site would be set up where no matter how you have the window opened up, the site will give you the pertinent information, the important information that you need right there, and it will try to put the video as big as it can for the window that you have. I like this idea of it doing it everything very smoothly. I have kind of an obsession with things being really smooth, and it's just smooth movement. I mean, I, I know pages can be written that way. So like if you do move the window in, in a certain, you know, to a different size, uh, you know, within a second you'll watch uh, the content in the window uh, rearrange if necessary. It will be a fully usable window no matter what. I just think that's a cool idea. Like if you set it for a portrait mode, as you can see here, the icons will move to the top and get smaller. This next one shows how if you click, let's say we're back in the uh, 1080p mode and we have it maximized, and uh, I click on the info button. Well, what should happen at that point is the, uh, here, let me go back to uh, the first one for just a second. Okay, now uh, you see this area on the right. Those things will move to the right while fading off, while just completely fading out. And while that happens, now we'll go back to the, uh, this one. Uh, while that happens, the uh, video uh, window will, the video section, the video window will uh, shrink smoothly while moving to the right, and then the scroll bar will go from, uh, will fade in while moving towards the right into place, and then once it's into place, the uh, text to the left of it will fade into place smoothly. Everything focused on this smooth element. Now once that, that's up, um, you might think, oh, that's not so great. Well, you would be able to take that column, uh, like click anywhere on the scroll bar other than the circle, and then move your mouse left and right, and you will adjust the column. And so the video will get smaller when you move the column to the right, and it will get bigger when you move it to the left. You know, all very smooth. One of the things to make the uh, c column on the left look smooth is whenever you go to move it, you go to, you, you, as soon as you start to move the mouse, once you've clicked on, the, on that, uh, that little column thing to move it, uh, the text on the left will uh, fade out until you're done uh, moving the column and then it would fade back in uh, with all the text in the right place. Okay, uh, this next one uh, shows an example of the three icons for if YouTube was to do that, that thing that I talk about with uh, video comments or even audio comments where you know you can only make the comment live with a webcam or a microphone or with a uh, mobile device of some sort but it has to be live it would pretty much guarantee a lot more interaction though it could have some as I've talked about before, it could have some real flame wars, but uh, one of the things that I think would be just great is if Google was to try to really unify all of their product pages together. To me, they could do this by setting up themes, making it so people can choose from different themes, and these themes would apply to all Google products. They would, you know, it would be the same consistent theme through all, through, through all of the Google products. Once you're on one Google site, when you click to go to another Google site, instead of it actually lo fully loading a new page, it would basically clear out the information you have on your page and replace it with the new site for Google. Now, let's say they, I think they should, if they did this, they'd probably want to have that, that black Google bar uh, on the top, no matter, you know, how you're, you're scrolled or whatever, you know, on any of their pages. 
But uh, like, you know, imagine you, you click on another Google page and the uh, the columns or whatever it is on the screen will they'll move off to one direction or different different things will move off in different directions while fading off the screen and then shortly after or even at the same time other info will come onto the screen and that will be the new replacement because that's the new page so no matter where you go in google it would you, you would always feel like you're you're experiencing the google experience i just think that would be really cool i'm rambling but uh I, these are just some of my ideas and i just think it would be cool and uh so anyway